Hi, welcome to Mastering DevOps, the video course by Pack Publishing. My name is Dave Mango, and I'll be your coach throughout the course. Together, you and I are going to explore DevOps. We're going to talk about what it is, and we're going to find out what it means to and for its practitioners. Before we really get started, a little bit about me. I have more than 20 years of systems engineering experience, and I've done it at companies both large and small. Before I was a systems administrator, I was a developer. So I actually have a background in both disciplines, and that's helped me a lot over the course of my career. I've led multiple transformations to operational maturity or with DevOps maturity at different companies. So small companies like Terracotta or large companies like Cable and Wireless and Salesforce where I architected monitoring, configuration management, DNS systems, things like that. I love metrics, monitoring, and scalability. Those are my three favorite topics in computer science and my three favorite topics at my job. So I'm lucky because I'm privileged enough to work in all three at my current job as director of operations for Librato and Paper Trail, which are metrics and monitoring companies. And lastly, sometimes I blog about technical topics or DevOps at tech.mango.com, or feel free to reach out and give me feedback or ask questions about the course or about DevOps in general at Dave Mango on Twitter. And I try to follow that as closely as I can. So this is video 1.1, .1, the course overview. In this course, we're going to take a look at what is DevOps? Why do I even care? What, what's so important about it? We're going to look at the CAMS model, a way of looking at DevOps and all the different components that make up DevOps thinking. We're going to talk about establishing a DevOps culture, things that you can bring to your organization to change to adopt a more DevOps culture. We're going to talk about configuration management and automation. And those sections will have lots of code examples. We'll be firing up instances in the Google Cloud or in the Amazon Cloud. We'll be trying out different things to see what we can learn. Then we'll talk about measurement. Again, we'll have lots of examples. We'll set up systems that allow us to take in metrics and things like that. And then lastly, we're going to talk about sharing as a part of the DevOps model. And we'll talk about why sharing is such a crucial part of what we're trying to accomplish in DevOps. And the last part of the course, we'll have some next steps where we talk about more advanced topics in DevOps and places that you can find resources if you want to explore different areas of DevOps. So why is this all so important? Well, Gene Kim and others do a survey every year. And in the 2015 DevOps survey, they discovered that, quote, for the nearly 800 organizations that provided a stock ticker symbol, we found that the high performers had nearly 50% higher market capitalization growth over three years, indicating that DevOps is great for IT performance as well as organizational performance. So that's our goal here. Our goal is to create high performing organizations. And we know that through DevOps, we can actually create these high performing organizations without burning our people out by taking care of the people that work for us, by taking care of the people that work with us, by being mindful of other parts of your organization. We can actually create high performing teams, departments, organizations. Probably the best example of this was in 2009 at the O'Reilly Velocity Conference. And for some, this was the birth of the DevOps movement. Paul Hammond and John Osbaugh gave a talk called 10 plus deploys per day, dev and ops cooperation at Flickr, where they talked about how they did deploys at Flickr. This was 2009. Doing 10 or more deploys a day was complete and utter insanity. Nobody had ever talked about doing something like this. Organizations at that time we're happy if they were doing deploys quarterly, or maybe if you were really, really amazing, you're doing it monthly. Weekly was just almost unheard of, and doing multiple deploys a day, 
Who could do such a thing? This talk was truly earth shattering and it gave birth through circumstances that involved other people like Andrew Schaefer and Patrick Dubois, who's known as the godfather of DevOps, gave the birth to a worldwide movement of people who are practicing the kinds of techniques that were necessary in order to do 10 or more deploys a day. Dev and Ops, maybe DevOps, cooperation at Flickr. And you can see the URL for this talk on the bottom of the slide. So, in this course, it'd be helpful but not required to have a programming background because, like we said, in the automation sections and things like that, you're going to have to be able to write a little bit of code, at least, to be able to try some of the examples and to modify them for your own purposes. So you might want to brush up through some pack publishing books or video courses, etc. It'd be great to have some relevant work experience on an IT team because we're going to be talking about real-world problems that people bump into every day on IT teams, and so some familiarity would be helpful. And lastly, it's important to bring a systems thinking approach, to be able to look at an entire system as a whole instead of just the things that are right in front of us. And we're going to talk a lot more about systems thinking and why that's important for DevOps. So by the end of the course, you should have a deep understanding of DevOps. You should also have an understanding of how to bring to your job, your team, your organization, the things that you've learned in order to create a high performing one. I'm really looking forward to going on this journey with you. And together, you and I are going to learn all kinds of great things about how to create a high-performing organization. See you there.